Jack William Szostak born November 9, 1952, is a Canadian-American biologist of Polish-British descent, Nobel Prize laureate, professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School, and Alexander Rich Distinguished Investigator at Massachusetts General Hospital, Boston. Szostak has made significant contributions to the field of genetics. His achievement helped scientists to map the location of genes in mammals and to develop techniques for manipulating genes. His research findings in this area are also instrumental to the Human Genome Project. He was awarded the 2009 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine, along with Elizabeth Blackburn and Carol W. Greider, for the discovery of how chromosomes are protected by telomeres. Early life Szostak grew up in Montreal and Ottawa. Although Szostak does not speak Polish, he stated in an interview with W. Prost Weekly that he remembers his Polish roots. He attended Riverdale High School Quebec and graduated at the age of 15 with the Scholar's Prize. He graduated with a B.S.C. in Cell Biology from McGill University at the age of 19. In 1970, as an undergraduate, he participated in the Jackson Laboratory's summer student program under the mentorship of Dr. Chen K. Chai. He completed his Ph.D. in biochemistry at Cornell University advisor professor. Ray Wu before moving to Harvard Medical School to start his own lab at the Sidney Farber Cancer Institute. He credits Ruth Sager for giving him his job there when he had little yet to show. In 1984 Howard Goodman lured him away to Massachusetts General Hospital and the Department of Molecular Biology. He was granted tenure and a full professorship at Harvard Medical School in 1988. Topic. Research Szostak has made contributions to the field of genetics. He is credited with the construction of the world's first yeast artificial chromosome. That achievement helped scientists to map the location of genes in mammals and to develop techniques for manipulating genes. His achievements in this area are also instrumental to the Human Genome Project. His discoveries have helped to clarify the events that lead to chromosomal recombination, the reshuffling of genes that occurs during meiosis, and the function of telomeres, the specialized DNA sequences at the tips of chromosomes. In the early 90s his laboratory shifted its research direction and focused on studying RNA enzymes, which had been recently discovered by Czech and Altman. He developed the technique of in vitro evolution of RNA also developed independently by Gerald Joyce which enables the discovery of RNAs with desired functions through successive cycles of selection, amplification and mutation. He isolated the first aptamer term he used for the first time. He isolated RNA enzymes with RNA ligase activity directly from random sequence project of David Bartle. Currently his lab focuses on the challenges of understanding the origin of life on Earth, and the construction of artificial cellular life in the laboratory. Beyond his research, he has delivered talks about the origin of life on Earth, as he did at the first Starmus Festival in the Canary Islands, in 2011. He subsequently joined the Starmus Board of Directors, and his 2011 lecture was published in the book Starmus, Fifty Years of Man in Space. Topic. Awards and honors Szostak has received several awards and honors for his contributions. He is a member of the National Academy of Sciences, American Academy of Arts and Sciences and New York Academy of Sciences, and is a member of the Kosciuszko Foundation Collegium of Eminent Scientists of Polish Origin and Ancestry. He has received the following awards. United States National Academy of Sciences Award in Molecular Biology Hans Sigrist Prize, University of Bern, Switzerland Genetics Society of America Medal The 2006 Lasker Award for Basic Medical Research The 2008 Dr. H. P. Heineken Prize for Biochemistry and Biophysics, Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences the 2009 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine shared with Elizabeth Blackburn and Carol W. Greider. The 2011 Apparin Medellin organism's genes are stored within DNA molecules, which are found in chromosomes inside its cell's nuclei. When a cell divides, it is important that its chromosomes are copied in full, and that they are not damaged. At each end of a chromosome lies a cap, or telomere, as it is known, which protects it. 
After Elizabeth Blackburn discovered that telomeres have a particular DNA, through experiments conducted on ciliates and yeast, she and Jack Shostak proved in 1982 that the telomere's DNA prevents chromosomes from being broken down. According to the statement released by the Alfred Nobel Foundation. Topic. Personal life Shostak is married to Terry Lynn McCormick and has two sons. He has two sisters, Carolyn Shostak and Kathy Heseen. Topic. Notes Topic. See also History of RNA biology List of RNA biologists Topic. References About Jack W. Shostak. The Howard Hughes Medical Institute. Retrieved 2 November 2007. Jack W. Shostak at Harvard University. Harvard University. Retrieved 2 November 2007. Curriculum Vitae of Jack W. Shostak. PDF. Massachusetts General Hospital. Archived from the original PDF on August 28, 2008. Retrieved 2 November 2007. Topic. External links Nobel Prize information Shostak Lab website DNA ends, just the beginning Nobel Prize lecture Jack Shostak's lecture, The Origin of Life on Earth Last interview of Dr. Jack Shostak